when the narcissist realizes what they lost, you. Does the narcissist realize they lost a good person? Do they realize that they screwed up? When the narcissist knows you're gone and you're not coming back, there are certain things that they will do. In a normal relationship, your partner will be full of regrets. They will feel sad. They will be filled with remorse. And they will wish that they had done everything they could to save the relationship. But when you are dealing with a narcissist, it will be very different. They won't show any remorse or regret. They won't feel like they could have done anything more to save the relationship because they won't accept any blame on why the relationship ended. Instead, they will have a bunch of excuses. If they cheated on you, they will blame you for their cheating. They will say that you neglected them. They will say that you weren't there for them when they needed you. But maybe you just got fed up of them using you for your money. But no matter what you gave to the narcissist, in the end they will always say that you did nothing for them. They will always say that it wasn't enough. They will always say that you could have done more. They will always have some excuse for why they couldn't get a job, for why they couldn't make their own money. When really, they're just very lazy. They lack the desire and determination to achieve success. They lack the qualities and skills. They have an attitude and disposition that lacks constructive outcomes. They're not cooperative or optimistic. Instead of seeing opportunities, they see limitations, which is why they only paid attention to your shortcomings but they big themselves up. They exaggerate their own importance. They act like they're so much more than what they actually are. They're very arrogant and audacious. They have an exaggerated sense of their own qualities and abilities, but it's all a facade. And when you finally get fed up of their lies, they will say that they just didn't want to worry you. They didn't want to make you angry. They will act like they were trying to save your feelings, as though they had your best interests in mind. They will always blame you for how the relationship ended. They will always blame you for their lies. Narcissists are very manipulative. They've spent years of their lives perfecting their craft of manipulation and it's been very effective for them in the past. You may have fallen for it in the past. You may have believed them when they said they would change. You may have given them countless chances. So they may not believe that you're serious. They may believe that they can get you back just like they always do. So when you leave the narcissist and you have no intention of coming back, they will be in denial. They won't believe that it's over. They will think you're just pretending. You're just mad because you told them it was over many times before and then they hoovered you. They love bombed their way back into your life. And you took them back. 
you gave them another chance. So they think it's just the same thing happening again. They think that they can get you back. So they will do the same things that they always do in an attempt to win you over. Because in their minds, they think that you still want them back. They think they're the best thing since sliced bread. So who wouldn't want them? Their thoughts about themselves are based on how effective their manipulation has been in the past. And it has been effective on many people before you. So they're already expecting it to work on you. They're not expecting you to see through the facade. But if you don't respond to them, they will fall back. They will wait for you to return. Because they're expecting you to miss them. They're expecting you to be feeling lonely without them. But as more and more time goes by, they eventually realize that you're not coming back. They realize that they're going to have to initiate contact with you but they may not do it directly. Instead, they will get their family or friends to contact you and they will say that it's an emergency. They will say that they need your help. But when you still don't respond, they go into panic mode. They go into denial. They become paranoid. But eventually, they will realize that you are gone and they will get very angry. They will want revenge because they will see it as an attack. They will see it as though you have caught them off guard with harmful results. They will see it as an impudent lack of respect as though you intended to offend them. They were probably already talking about you to people while you were with them. But once you've left, they will put all of their efforts into a smear campaign as if they're going to die. But they don't want anyone to know the truth about them. So they will try to beat you to the punch. They will try to get to those people before you do. They will tell anyone who will listen about how you did them wrong and how they're so happy you're gone. They will play the victim. They will try to make everyone feel sorry for them. And while they're doing that, they will also be putting some effort into their new supply. But if they don't have a new supply, they will panic because they cannot live without attention. They can't be alone. But eventually, they will move on and they will seem to be happier with this new supply. Because the new supply is susceptible to the narcissist manipulation. They're validating the illusions of their false self. They're ready, eager and prepared to fuel their ego. But even though they have moved on, they may still hoover you. They may still try to call or text you. But it's not because they miss or love you. It's because they want to see if you're still suffering from the pain they caused you. They want to see if you manage to move on. And if you haven't, they will see it as an open door for them to come back in. They will pretend that they've changed. They will give you a fake apology. They will tell you that they messed up. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. Whatever they think will get them back in your good graces again. But they have no intention of changing anything. 
All they care about is what they want and need. They don't feel bad about losing you. They don't feel any regret. They don't even take the time to think about how they treated you. The relationship was never about you. It was all about them and their needs. They will only feel bad because you're no longer providing what they were getting. They're no longer getting your attention, money or affection. They see you as an object that exists to meet their needs. They don't see you as a separate individual with your own feelings. Which is why you will feel like you never meant anything to the narcissist. Because you never did. Which is why when all is said and done, they will try to manipulate you. They will get very angry. They will try to get revenge. And they will try to replace you as soon as possible. Because to them, you are not so important that someone else could not take your place. Anyone is replaceable to a narcissist. There's no sentimental value. There's no association with fond memories. There's no value derived from personal or emotional association rather than its material worth. Which is why the relationship always felt so empty. Because they never loved you. They just loved what you could do for them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.